Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd like to share with you how I made my hanging shamrock. The next decoration I'm going to be doing is one of the hanging ones. And I'm using some old polystyrene that is just the lid off a box. And what I've done is I've cut out a heart on a piece of newspaper and all I'm going to do is trace around it so that I've got the shamrock, which is the four. So we go one, two, three, four, and then just trace around that and work for the stem. I've just freehand drawn one that goes like that. So the brown markings are the ones that we are actually going to be cutting out now. I'm just going to be using an ordinary steak knife to cut that out because I want to rasp it and then sand it afterwards to give me a 3D look. So I've just roughly cut it out now and that's what it would look like once I finish cutting it. Now I've cut it a little bit larger on the sides here so that I can rasp it and still get the same size of the brown marking so it'd be going down at 45 degree angle and a 45 degree angle coming up this way. When you're working with polystyrene please wear a mask because it goes everywhere. So for the initial shaping I'm going to be using a rasp and then I will take it down with a file and for some of the detail work I'll be using the rat tail rasp. So now just start working to reduce the sides so that we can get it coming at 45 degree angles into the middle. So to do 45 you just hold it at an angle and just take it down like that. and then just go all the way around it. I've done the initial rasping of the areas and as you can see it's going quite nicely to make it look like it's rounded off. Now I'm going to just take my small rat tail rasp and I'm going to put in some of the details that I want on the shamrock. And then I'm going to do that on both sides. So I've done both sides of them now. Now I'm going to take my file and just try and file it down a little bit smoother so that I can start sanding it. Once you file it, now take your 240 grit sandpaper and then just sand it as smooth as what you can. We should get something like that. And just continue all the way around it. Everything's been rounded off with the sandpaper. Pretty happy with the shape. And then I'm going to paint it apple green. So on the outsides here, all along here, and in the grooves, I'm painting, painting it with the dark emerald green. And on the inside, I'm painting it with the apple green. There was some black pigment marker on this particular piece, which wouldn't cover with the apple green, so I've painted it with the dark emerald green. And then I'll go over that with the apple green. When I refer to the dark emerald green, I have that one which is called emerald green and I have this one which is also called emerald green and there's, as you can see, a massive difference in the colour. So while the paint is still wet I'm taking the apple green and I'm just painting that on just to highlight it just a little bit so I'm just going outward. 
So that's one side painted. I'm going to leave that side to dry and then I'll paint the other side. I've taken my green glitter and decanted it into my toothpick holder so that I can get a whole variety of different sizes for sprinkling. So if I want to get something that's fairly large sprinkle, I can use that one. Or I can use the multi holes, which are slightly smaller, but will give me a bigger spread. So that's all I'm doing. While the paint is still wet, I've sprinkled it with some of the green glitter. So the next thing I'm doing now is I've got an aluminium can and a skewer. And what I've done is I've wound the can around the skewer so that I've got a small like, little pipe like that. And I'm just going to cut that off. I'm going to insert that into our shamrock. So now I'm going to take a metal skewer and I'm going to stab it through there so that I can put that little tube that we've made like this on it so I can fix so I can fix the attachment to it. When you insert the aluminium tube that we've made into the polystyrene, make sure you've got it connected to your um, skewer so that it goes through. So the skewer is doing most of the work so the aluminium pole doesn't collapse or pipe and then remove the skewer and then cut it off. Now take some 0 0.7 gauge wire and the top of a plastic bottle. I'm just using a soft drink bottle and then I'm winding it around the cap twice and then making sure that it crosses over so that you've got it overlapping and then cutting that off. Now take the wire and thread it through the little pipe that we've just made and when you get to the top piece where you're connecting over just put a blob of glue on there to hold it together and then thread it back through the pipe so that will be one of the hanging points for the shamrock. Now take a piece of ribbon I'm using a 20 centimeter piece of ribbon and then I'm going to just attach it you can use whatever length that you would like to dangle at. After looking at it, I think maybe that's a bit long, so I'm going to tie the knot halfway down. And that should be a nice length to hang it off. Then just trim the excess ribbon off. Now using the 0 0.7 gauge wire, make some hairpins like that and then just trim them you need two so those are the two pins that I'm going to be using now I've got this I bought this necklace from the dollar store which I'm going to be using to finish off my shamrock so now I'm taking one of the hairpins that we've made and then I'm going to insert it into the bottom of the polystyrene with the beads attached to it. Like that. And then the other one I'm going to is insert into the top there. So I have my beads hanging like that off the shamrock. So that's my hanging shamrock for the centre of my roof. All completed now. The next decoration I'm going to be doing is one of the hanging ones. To make this decoration what I've got is a strand of beads which is called Christmas garland. And I've got some of these um, shamrock coins. And all I'm doing is I'm putting the beads at different lengths so that I can hang them. And then I'm going to glue one of the shamrocks to the end of each one of my strands of beads. Like that. 
and then I'm going to tie a piece of wire around the top of them and then hang them up. The length of bead that I'm going for is 24 centimeters, so I'm just going to cut them off at 24 centimeters. The next one that I'm going to be using, I want to go for 40 centimeters, so I'm cutting that off at 40 centimeters. So I'll have the two different lengths of beads that will be hanging from the rafters. To make the attachment to hang the beads up with, I've got a 0 0.7 gauge wire and what I'm doing is making it into a little loop like that and tightening it so that you can put it around the bead and then pull it as tight as you can. So that's quite nice and tight because you don't want the beads hanging lopsided. So now take it and turn it so that you've got two pieces at the top of the bead so it holds the bead in place like that. Then just tie that securely into place and then you've got your bead hanging straight. Then take a marker and put it between the two and then just tighten that. and trim it down. And then just bend this piece over so that it's not sticking up. And there you have your attachment to hang the beads up. If you'd like to see how to make the hooks that I use to hang them up, I'll leave a link in the description box. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, Please give it a thumbs up, really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.